In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Moff Jigeroid, or Moff Jigeroid, depending how you prefer to pronounce it, for the Vintage Collection. So this character is kind of partial to me, because he's actually the second Imperial Officer that I ever owned. Uh, not this one in particular, but the original Saga Collection one back in 2006. I've had this action figure for 17 years now, and it's been one of my favorites in my collection. I've always had him towards the front and center, and... I've used him in a lot of displays over the years, and he's been a intricate part of my collection for all these years. Uh, the first officer I ever got was General Veers in the Saga Collection. Uh, before 2006, I actually was never really interested in owning any of the Imperial officers, and uh, there really wasn't any available between 2002 and um, 2006 or so. Uh, we had Admiral Ozzel. Uh, and I know there's a few other ones here and there, but I never really saw them at stores at the time. Uh, there was also Tarkin and the Revenge of Sith line. Uh, but at that time, I really wasn't interested in owning Tarkin, or at least that particular Tarkin. Uh, if I did want a Tarkin at the time, I probably would have preferred a, a New Hope one, and one that looked more accurate to that, which in 2006 there was one, but it was in that Imperial Officers pack that came with... Uh, like Wolf Ularin and uh, Chief Bass and all the other cronies from that bunch. And it would have been a really expensive set. And I think that may have been a Toys R Us exclusive even. So I didn't have access to a Toys R Us at the time. So my chances of getting it were probably pretty slim to begin with. Uh, so off to Road here. He's been one of the main Imperial officers in my collection for all these years. Uh, this new TVC figure, I never really intended on getting this. When I saw he was originally announced, I was like, oh, I already have this Saga Collection figure, and I like it for what it is, and I still really like it. Uh, as you can see how they both look side by side, there's a huge difference between the two. Uh, but, you know, this uh, new TVC figure has been sitting at my Walmart for like a month or two now. or um, yeah, it, It's been a lot longer than I thought he would be there. And every time I pass him in the aisle, I look at it, and it's like, you know... I mean, he does look pretty good, and, you know, I wouldn't mind having him for my collection, so I'll go ahead and get him. And now that I have him in hand, I am glad I have him, and I'm glad I have both action figures, actually. Uh, <laughs> they almost look like two totally different characters, actually. Um, and as you can see in the face here, this, I mean, I, I suppose it can pass as a uh, Roid here, but it's, um... If you squint enough, maybe you can say he's someone else. It, I mean, it just comes down to the individual, what they think. Uh, but I think looking at this one more, it definitely looks more faithful to the character, I would say. Uh, this new Imperial Officers mold, I do like it. Uh, it's not perfect. I think the hands could be a little bit better. Uh, but overall, it's a really good sculpt. And it looks like we're going to be getting a lot more action figures of it for the time being. Uh, of course, now we have the Imperial Officers 4-pack, which I don't know if I'm going to get that. It's not really high on my priority list, but perhaps in the future I will. Maybe if it goes on sale or something like that, which I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Uh, we've seen some of the other one, older ones go on sale every now and then, so maybe that pack will, and then maybe I'll get it. Uh, but for the time being, I'm happy to have Moff Jigeroid. He's one of my favorite Imperial officers in all Star Wars, quite frankly. I think he uh, he definitely had a much more of a role in Return of the Jedi than what we actually saw in the movie. Uh, if you've never seen him before, there is a lot more deleted scenes featuring him out there. And uh, it dives a lot more into his character. And you can easily find all those scenes on YouTube. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the package here. I think there is a little bit of a typo on his uh, name pill there. I don't think that second J is supposed to be capitalized, if I recall correctly. A nice image of him there from the, sh uh, from the movie. I actually think this is one of the deleted scenes he's in. I think this is the one where he's uh, confronting Palpatine or challenging him about... Uh, Palpatine basically gave the order to destroy Endor if the shield bunker goes out, and this is a uh, Jiroid here questioning Palpatine, saying, "But we have several battalions on the surface. Uh, we shouldn't be killing our own men." And then Palpatine says, "You will destroy it regardless." 
and you can see he has a little bit of that humanity in him where he's uh, conflicted. So we have that 40th of Return of the Jedi on here. Uh, it's a shame that's coming to an end, but I think we got a pretty good, healthy amount of action figures for the anniversary date. Uh, this is 284, one of the last action figures that has this uh, particular card back. Uh, so we have him now. I have all four of these reviewed on the channel. And I do plan on getting nine of them at some point and just being kind of slow about it. Cad Bane, to be honest, I'm not really that crazy about this look for Cad Bane. Uh, something about it just looks off to me. Maybe I'll get it at some point. I'll never say never, but it's uh, not high on my list for the time being. The same with Boba Fett. Pretty nice card there. Take a look at the figure. Uh, I have pretty much have showed this figure off before with Admiral Tia. It's the same exact thing, just a new head. And I do have Pia here, actually. We'll go ahead and bring them out now. Uh, they both have the same rank badge. I know every now and then uh, it looks like Hasbro is correcting the main badge for, or not the main badge, the rank badge for some of the characters. I think maybe uh, Krennic might have a different one. And I know in the Officers 4-pack, I think they all have different rank badges as well. This looks pretty accurate to Gigi Rudd. As you can see on the image there. Uh, yeah, three and three. So the body is the same exact thing as Pia. If you've seen my review of that before, you know exactly what you're getting. So we'll mainly talk about the head sculpt here. It looks very good. You can't take his cap off. I would say that's pretty faithful to the character. We don't ever get to see him without his cap on in the movie, so I'm not 100% sure what his hair looks like. But I would say that's pretty accurate. Now he does have those cylinders on his tunic there. And the belt. And he has the cavalry style pants. Really good. And that slit there, it's part of his tunic. Allow for more posability with his legs. And just a nice paint job all around. The face, there's really no smudges, no. Uh, the eyes look good. Everything about it is perfect. It's exactly what you would hope for. Articulation is the same as you would expect, the hinge at the neck, and then shoulders, elbows, wrists, uh, yeah, they're hinged wrists, then the uh, hinge at the torso, then the uh, hinged hips, then the uh, swivel thigh, and then hinged knees and rocking ankles. Weapons and accessories, pretty basic with this as well, the pistol, and this kind of goes back to why I was complaining about the hands earlier, I just can't really get Piet and uh, Jijiroid here to really hold that pistol too well and if they do it's at a very awkward angle I think uh, I suppose you can make them left-handed he doesn't really have a trigger finger there in that left hand at least he can hold it uh, it'd be nice to give these guys like a data pad or something like that just something unique instead of the standard pistol uh, it wouldn't be too unusual to see high-ranking officers walking around with a data pad or something like that, wouldn't you think? And here he is with his original counterpart. And I think this is the original Moff Jijiroid figure. We went on that many years without one. And as you can see, huge difference between the two. But I still really like this figure, and uh, I like it so much I'm going to give him his own dedicated video at some point in the hopefully near future. I really would like to get some more of the Saga Collection figures. I have most of them, I think, at this point. So there's a huge catalog of videos I could do for that line alone. And it's still one of my favorites to this day. But yeah, nice upgrade. Uh, 
what is this, 17, 18 years difference between the two. And here I got this uh, action figure at Kohl's back in the day in 2006 for $6.99, I think he was. Or Kohl's may have been a little bit more, maybe a $7.99. Uh, usually, back uh, at that time, Kohl's was kind of like that hidden gem where you could find all those rare action figures that you couldn't find elsewhere because no one ever thought to shop there for Star Wars figures. Um, but being a store like that, they may have been $7.99, I forget, but I know the standard was $6.99. Then here we have uh, sixteen ninety nine. It's ridiculous. In only seventeen years time, we've had a ten dollar markup. So what is that? Like a hundred and sixty percent or so, roughly, of a markup. Outrageous. Imagine what it's gonna be like in seventeen more years. Uh, hopefully by then I'm still doing these videos on YouTube, and then we can go back and. Take a look, maybe we'll be paying like $40 for a standard action figure at that point. And then here he is with Pia. And pretty much the same exact action figure. Uh, Pia doesn't have the one cylinder there on that side, while Jujuro does. Uh, they both have it on their, their left sides though. Rank badges are the same. Uh, I don't think that's totally accurate. Yeah, I think as a uh, Admiral, PS supposed to have a uh, four, which I think in that officer's four pack we did get the Admiral PS. Other than that, same figures. I will bring one more guy out here. Uh, which one should I bring? I guess we'll uh, do this one here. See how he compares to the man of Star Wars himself. He's honored by his presence. He can dispense with the pleasantries. And they all look really good side by side. But yeah, that's all I can tell you about Moff Gigeroid. Would I recommend them for your collection? I totally would. Uh, rather the Saga Collection one or the new one is totally up to you. I think they're both great action figures. I suppose if you want one that looks a lot more closer to the character, definitely go with the new one. But again, $17 for an Imperial Officer that really doesn't come with a whole lot and in some ways it's kind of boring. Uh, that might be a little much to ask for for some people. Uh, but still, he's a great action figure. He's got all you can ask for. And can't really say much more about it. And like I said, this guy here, I'll give him his own dedicated video at some point. But as far as this TVC one, solid 10 out of 10 action figure. Can't ask for much more. Really much less, quite frankly. But anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for plenty more in the future. There will always be lots more to come. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate all your support, and check out some of the links in the description if you have not done so already. As always, thanks for watching.